Hello friends, welcome to the session. Uh, friends, once again I am coming with problems on remainders. Though I have taken too many sessions on uh, this uh, remainders number system, still some students are getting doubts. So one of the students has sent so many problems on remainders. So I am taking them uh, in this session. I am taking the problems in this session. and. Uh, Though I have already discussed the basics, how to find remainder, simple cases I have already discussed in my number system sessions uh, workshops. So once again, we just go for a quick revision of the basic concepts, how to find the remainders. Okay, now see we know the expansion, the basic expansion that is x plus y whole square, x plus y whole cube and all that, right? So suppose I take x plus y whole square. Now x plus y whole square is x square plus 2xy plus y square, right? Now if x plus y whole square is divided by y, then what will be the remainder? What my question is, if x plus y whole square is divided by y, what will be the remainder? That means I have to divide this expression by y and I have to get the remainder, right? Now this expansion of this is this. So if I divide this or this that will be the same thing. Okay. So when the first basic thing you have to understand is see remainder in individual cases you have to find out then you have to add up all of them. Okay. So you have to find out the remainder when x square is divided by y or 2xy is divided by y and y square is divided by y. Okay. So I find out the remainder in these three cases so this this or this so here 2xy by y 2xy is multiple of y so remainder will be 0 in this case uh, y square is multiple of y so remainder is 0 in this case so the we are left with x square only so x plus y whole square when divided by y the remainder will be x square Right. Similarly, x plus y whole square, if it is divided by x, then the same thing, x square is multiple of x, so 0 remainder, 2xy is multiple of x, so 0 remainder, y square if it is divided by x, y square we cannot say whether it is multiple of x or not, so remainder will be y square. That means if this expression is divided by x, x plus y whole square divided by x, remainder will be this number, y square. So this funda we will be using to solve the problems on remainders. Okay, similarly I can go for x plus y whole cube also. So that is x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube. Okay, now if this entire expression has to be divided by x and we have to find out the remainder, then these three terms are multiple of x, only we will be getting the remainder from this term. Okay, that means x plus y whole cube, if it is divided by x, remainder will be y cube. Okay, so that's pretty simple. So this is basically binomial uh, concept. So we will be using binomial theorem, precisely this is binomial theorem only. If it is x plus y raised to n, okay, so there will be n plus 1 terms in this expansion. Okay, x plus y raised to n, there will be n terms in this expansion and all the terms will be multiple of x except the last term that is y raised to n. Okay, all the terms will be multiple of x except the last term that is y raised to n. The expansion will be x raised to n plus n c1 x raised to n minus 1 y, right? At the last, the, the term we are left with x raised to 0 and y raised to n. Okay, so this is a term that is left that is not multiple of x. Okay, this I have shown over here the same thing. 
in a uh, like a big way you can say okay so i hope this thing is clear so in generally if we talk about competitive exams these days the problems on remainders are frequently asked whether we talk about cat or maybe uh, zat or cmat or even uh, 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 the exams like ssc cgl these days the questions from remainders precisely number system are i can say frequently asked okay so if your basic concepts are clear you can do the problems on remainder easily okay no, none of the problem takes more than a minute to solve now simple problems can be solved using uh, using binomial theorem or this concept but some of the problems are really um uh, of higher level so over there we need to use some of the theorem some of the concepts um, you might have heard about euler's theorem you might have heard about wilson's theorem fermat's fermat little theorem so all these theorems are used or concepts are used uh, to find out the remainder uh, in some cases okay so we will be discussing even problems based on them also i have some uh, 18 20 questions to solve on all these concepts so i'll be using almost all the concepts maybe binomial maybe uh, euler's theorem fermat's theorem okay and uh, good number of exam examples uh, will be taking of each concept so by the end of all these problems all this uh, questions i hope you will be confident on uh, number system problems on remainders okay now uh, we take the very first question now here yeah, the very first question is 13 raised to 239 divided by 16 what will be the remainder like uh, see friends in simple question like suppose a uh, 2 raised to uh, maybe 52 divided by 3 what will be the remainder so these sort of questions you can solve very easily because 2 and 3 what is the difference that's just one so 2 can be written as 3 minus 1 raised to 52 right so as i described earlier 3 minus 1 raised to 52 if it is divided by 3 what will be the remainder that is minus 1 raised to 52 or i just can say 1 okay so these are like very simple questions if, even if it is 4 raised to 52 divided by 3 then i can write 3 plus 1 raised to 52 so the remainder will be 1 raised to 52 that's ultimately 1 right over here it becomes bit difficult right bit difficult uh, difficult more difficult than these sort of problems but not that difficult you can solve them easily the only thing is you need to think a bit right now what what exactly you have to think you just listen to me carefully you will definitely get a number uh or a clue from here right the very first thing just simplify it just one step simplification find out the difference of 13 and 16 right 13 can be written as 16 minus 3 raised to 239 right so in the very first see you don't have to write this okay because in exams you have to save time also so avoid writing too many steps the first thing is you don't have to write this now 13 is what minus 3 from 16 so in the first step what will be your remainder that is minus 3 raised to 239 okay so that is the first step that is, that you have to write now i was talking about a clue so you know 3 raised to 4 4 that is 81 and 16 into 5 is 80 okay that means 80 is multiple of 16 and 81 we can get from this okay and 80 and 81 the difference is just one so we can convert this problem to easier one like this okay but that you have to think how now 3 raised to 4 is 81 i just put this minus sign somewhere here now 3 raised to 239 cannot be converted into 3 raised to 4 so what we can do is we can find out the multiple of 4 and exclude the remaining part so the last multiple will be 236 okay so what i can do is 81 raised to or what i can say 3 raised to 4 okay so 236 and uh, 3 raised to 3 will be different so that is 3 raised to 3 i write over here and the, the remaining part 
so I divide 236 by 4 okay so this expression can be converted to this 3 raised to 4 raised to 59 into 3 raised to 3 okay minus sign do not forget this now this is what 3 raised to 4 is basically what 81 and 81 can be written as 80 plus 1 right so 80 plus 1 raised to 59 into 27 okay this expression can be converted to this but again you don't have to write this step you should you should be able to think um, without writing this step okay so if it is 80 plus 1 raised to 59 your remainder will be 1 raised to 59 that means precisely 1 that means your remainder is 27 that is left out with a minus sign okay now 27 still it is bigger than 16 so further the re uh, remainder will be we can even deduct 16 from 27 so that's 11 with a minus sign so your remainder is uh, we started with this big number and now we have got minus 11 means this expression when divided by 16 the remainder is minus 11 right or what we can say we can convert this remainder to a positive one that is 16 minus 11 that is 5 so the ultimate remainder when 13 raised to 239 is divided by 16 that is 5 okay so the important thing is to find out the relationship between these two okay that uh, as I explained to you over here right we, we see somewhere um, a number that is just having uh, this just giving difference of 1 okay in the power of 3 and and which is multiple of 16 okay so I hope this problem is clear I take the next one 